In this section, we focus on two types of what we call variation, direct variation and indirect or inverse variation. First, we'll talk about direct variation. Direct variation has a template equation, and by that I mean every kind of direct variation will use this particular equation, y equals kx. The y and the x are part of the problem. The k is what we call the variation constant. You'll see it like this. Y varies directly as X, or you might see Y is directly proportional to X when you know that you're going to have to do a problem involving direct variation. The problems will look similar to this. Find the variation constant. In other words, we're trying to find out what K is in this particular equation. And an equation of variation when Y varies directly as X and Y equals 54 when X equals 12. We have to start these problems by determining first which equation that we'll use. If it's a direct variation problem, we will always use this particular equation. There's another equation involved in these problems if the problem states that it's indirect or inverse variation. So for this particular problem, because the equation or the process says y varies directly as x, we're going to use this equation. The next thing that we'll do is we'll fill in everything that they've actually given us in the problem. If you notice, they've told us that y is 54 and x is 12. So we'll substitute into our equation 54 for y and 12 for x. So you can see all I've done here is I've placed the 54 where the y was in the equation and 12 where the x was in the equation. Now I use basic algebra and I just solve my equation. So we're going to divide both sides by 12. So k is going to be equal to 4.5 because 54 divided by 12 is 4.5. Now k represents what we call the variation constant. So in this particular problem, we've actually found the first part of what they've asked for. They have said find the variation constant. So that's what we've done. That's k. Then it says, and an equation of variation for these conditions that we have when y varies directly as x. So what we want to do now is we want to use that same template that we have, the y equals kx. And we want to place our 4.5 in for the k. So y equals... 4.5x. This is what we call the equation of variation. Now in a later problem they might actually tell us something to do with this equation of variation. But right now this is all they've asked us for. So these are the two answers. This is the variation constant. This is the equation of variation for that particular problem. Now here we see an actual application problem involving direct variation. It says the maximum number of grams of fat that should be in a diet varies directly, there's our key phrase there, varies directly as a person's weight. So we have to figure out the two things that are varying directly. It says the number of grams of fat that should be in a diet varies directly as a person's weight. So if we're going to use our template equation, we have to figure out what goes in place of those things there. And since we talk about the maximum number of grams of fat, I'm actually going to use F for fat. That's the thing that's varying directly. So that's what goes in place of Y. Whatever says varies directly, that's the first thing that goes into the equation. And it says it varies directly with the person's weight. Now K in these problems will always be a k, it's variation constant, and constant means it's always there. But for the rest of the equation, you will have other things in there that you will need to put in there. And the, the problem will always say varies directly, and you'll pick the two things that are around that phrase. So now we have to do the math involved. It says a person weighing 120 pounds, so there's our number, and that's the weight should have no more than 60 grams of fat per day. Now, if we substitute that into what we have, we have the 60 grams of fat. See, that's fat, so that goes in place of F. 
and we have the weight of 120, we now have an equation so that we can find the variation constant. 60 divided by 120 is 0.5. So our equation of variation, if we take the information that we have found and plug it back into our original equation, we now have F equals 0.5 times W. So that's our equation for figuring out the number of grams of fat that you should have directly varying with your weight. So now the question actually asks us, what is the maximum daily fat intake for a person weighing 180 pounds. Well, we have an equation for that. We have fat equals 0.5 times the weight, and we know the weight. Point 0.5 times 180 is 90. So the daily fat intake, a maximum daily fat intake for a person weighing 180 pounds would be 90 grams of fat per day. So we can use this variation equation to figure out things like that. That's what we do in um, dietary needs occupations, things like that. That's what this would be used for.